Welcome back to part two of our research. So now, remember when we do research, we can look up at different things. We can do research in books or different websites. So now we're going to look at a different website to see if we can learn some more fun facts about this frogfish. So I did. I learned something pretty cool, you guys. I learned that, well, just kind of like we saw in the other video, they have this adaptation in the front of their head that they wiggle to catch their prey. And if that breaks, they can grow it again. Alrighty. So I'm going to show you a video right now of how they catch their prey. So look, watch it. The fishies are like, hey, what's going on? Oh, did you see that? They're so fast. Oh. They are so, so fast. And look at how they walk. They don't necessarily swim. They like walk on the bottom of the seafloor. All right. Okay, now we're going to read a book about them. So on Epic, I found a book about the frogfish. So let's see if we can find, we already learned some cool facts about the frogfish. Let's look at our notes. We learned that it's a type of fish. Its habitat is the ocean. It's a carnivore. It eats flounder fish. It's a predator because it hunts other animals. And its body covering is spines. We learned that they can camouflage. And that helps them hide from predators. And I think it helps them catch food. So we're, we need to add that to our notes. And catch food. The camouflage lets them catch food because if they're hiding, like the fishes don't really see them. Right, and they can attack. All right, let's see what the epic book tells us. Frogfish live in warm, shallow waters. They stay close to the ocean floor, just like we saw them walking right now. Frogfish are small, lumpy fish with thick skin. Most frogfish are about the size of your hand. Frogfish bodies can be covered with spots, stripes, and lumps. Uh-oh, I can't see that. Some frogfish have sharp scales. Oh, so they do have scales, you see? Now we need to go and fix that. That's why we read different things so we can find out all the information. Frogfish come in many colors. They can be yellow, red, green, or brown. Frogfish can slowly change color to match their surroundings. This camouflage, remember? Camouflage helps frogfish look like rocks, plants, or even other animals, so they can hide. Frogfish have small eyes. Their mouths look similar to that frog's mouth. Frogfish breathe through gills, like fish, right? They breathe through their little gills here. Frogfish have a tail and fins, but they hardly ever swim. 
Instead, frogfish walk across the ocean floor on their bottom fins, like we just saw in the video. They're walking. Sometimes frogfish want to move fast. They suck in water. Do that with me. They go. Then they force the water out through their gills and jet forward. Frogfish have three spines on their head. The front spines look like, oh, I can't see it, like a rod and a, and a lure for fishing. Frogfish wiggle the lure to draw small fish and other prey closer. All right, guys, we have to write this down. So. They have a rod and a lure for fishing. So here they have the three spines and then they have the lure, which is that thing that they dangle in front of them so that fishes come and then they snap them up. So we're gonna add that to our notes because that's something really important that we know about the frogfish. An adaptation is that they have a lure. Lure. How does this adaptation help the animal survive? So that thing that hangs in front of them, how does it help them survive? It helps them survive because it draws or it, hmm, how should we say it? It calls or it draws other animals in. It brings their prey close. It brings their prey close to them. So that lure thing is a physical feature that helps them survive. It helps them eat. Okay, again, if you need to pause the video right now, pause it, okay? Frogfish stay very still. They spread their mouths wide open when a fish swims by. Gulp. Frogfish swallow their prey whole in less than one second. They eat the whole thing in less than one second. And that's it. Okay. So there are two other things that help them survive. I'm going to write them down, but you don't have to. Okay. If you're a fast writer, then you can write them down. So remember, an adaptation is something, a physical feature or a behavior that helps them survive. Something that helps them survive that's not a physical feature is that they can stay still. We just read in the book that they stay very still. So remember, I said if you're not a very fast writer, you don't have to write this down. If you're a super duper fast writer and you know it, write this one down. Okay, they stay still and this helps them Sorry, my eraser doesn't work very well. This helps them hunt Because the fishes don't even know that they're there really remember they camouflage and the fishes just see the dangly thing and the the fish is very still and then when the fishes come they pounce alrighty so that is everything that we learned about the frogfish I'm gonna put put a website that you can look at um, just so that you can explore on your own, okay?